How would you like the government to give you $115,000 so you can invest that in luxury rental real estate? That might sound a little crazy. I assure you it's not. That's exactly what we're talking about right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV, and today I'm working with an investor from New York. His name is We, and We... I'm going to get you 115K, player! What? Boo, 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 boo. Laser guns, baby! Because we're getting 115K from the government. Man, that's freaking sweet, right? Here's the deal. Way, you came to me because you're in New York. You want to invest in cheaper areas. That's what I help you do. We've got a couple properties under contract for you. This one, though, I think you're going to like this one even more than those, right? You were looking for something a little bit more high-end, and I absolutely delivered for you on this one, brother. In addition, I got you a government rebate, 115000 not $15,000, $115,000, $115,000, Government tax rebate available to investors. Doesn't matter if you're local to Cleveland. So the fact that you are in New York and buying this purely as an investment property to run short-term rentals, totally cool, bro. 115 k coming your way. Let's see if the deal's going to make any money right after this. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. Let's jump into the deal. Let's jump into what we got to do to make the deal work. And more importantly, perhaps the coolest thing of all, how the government, how Cleveland is going to pay us investors to do the damn thing. Right? See, that's the cool thing. Oftentimes, the government, uh, whenever they do come out with some type of tax credit or subsidy or or some type of incentive to get people to invest or to buy real estate, it's typically only offered to owner-occupants. This is one of the rare tax credits that are available to real estate investors like you and I, right? We don't have to live there. We don't have to live in Ohio to take advantage of this, right? So first things first, let's go over the address. 5324 Herman, Cleveland, 44102. Hit the market two days ago. We need to move lightning quick, right? The moment you're done watching this video, you need to be ready to make a bid or you are going to miss out on this deal. $515,000, that's the price point. You need to be willing to pay $515,000. I imagine we're going to be in a bidding war because this is a freaking sweet deal. Let me uh, tell you what the listing agent had to say, and then I will give you my take, okay? Unbeatable rooftop panoramic views of Lake Erie and downtown Cleveland. Come with this custom upgraded two-bed, three-bath, luxurious townhome in booming Gordon Square. Tax abated at 2029. More on that later. The main level offers a great room with spectacular living, entertainment, and dining space with high vaulted ceilings. Wall of windows that run floor to ceiling and custom built-in Bose surround sound system throughout. The large kitchen overlooks a great room and contains granite counters, custom cabinets, soft closed drawers, oversized pantry, premium appliances and fixtures, as well as a balcony to start your morning coffee. The master suite <coughs> boasts picturesque lake and city views with upgraded walk-in closets. Uh, I lost my spot. Uh, full, <laughs> uh, full bath with dual sinks, rain shot. Dude, more or less, the property's sweet, okay? It's a sweet fucking property. If you want, you can Google the listing uh, to finish reading it. But more or less, it's sweet. I, it's just, I don't want to keep reading it. It's awesome, right? Here's the building. It's bad fucking ass, all right? Let's look at some pictures, right? There's friggin' downtown. You're right here. It's Gordon Square, dude. When you hear resurgence in Cleveland, 
It's like areas like this, Gordon Square, Tremont, Ohio City. These are the hottest neighborhoods in Cleveland, right? And how did they get the resurgence to happen? How did they make that happen? How did they gentrify these neighborhoods? Through these tax credits, these tax abatements, right? It's a 15-year tax abatement. You only have to pay taxes on the land. You do not have to pay taxes on the property, okay? Now, this property was built in 2015, okay? So we're good till 2020. 29 right it's only a couple years old right just because it's being sold again does not mean you lose the credit you do not have to pay taxes till 2029 and as you know i was trying to get through reading it but there's just so many words i didn't want to get into it they're just describing how fucking sweet this thing is right this is fucking badass okay this is gnarly so what are we providing our uh, potential Airbnb guests here folks we're providing them luxury on two fronts okay if they're coming to Cleveland Market, where are they going to want to stay? They're going to want to stay in Ohio City, Gordon Square, Tremont. That's where they're going to want to stay. So we're giving them the most desirable location. And obviously, the pictures speak for themselves, right? Like, I mean, it's bad fucking ass, right? I don't know how to describe it any other way than it's bad fucking ass, right? Like, sweet-ass roof deck. Like, dude. If I'm looking to come to Cleveland, take me a little vacay, bro. This is it, right? This is pretty freaking gnarly. It don't get better, right? We don't have to do jack to this, right? They have provided us a freaking luxurious thing. Even get your own little garage, man. That's awesome, right? So we're giving them luxury property, luxury area, right? This is where they want to be, right there, downtown, dude. You're the Q, the Browns, Rock, Rock Hall of Fame, everything. It's right there, right? So this is where they want to be. If you're close to all the hospitals too, right? This is it. So we got the best location fucking totally badass uh looking unit and then we get the government to pay for it right we don't gotta pay them taxes right 348 that's all you gotta pay in taxes right you want to know how much taxes you're saving right this is the good part right this is this is the good part now tax rates 2.79 percent it's worth 515,000 that's fourteen thousand three hundred sixty-eight dollars a year. We're good till twenty twenty-nine. So what do we got? We got like another fifteen. What do we got? Nine years? Eight years? Eight years? Let's call it eight. Let's call it eight. I don't know. I could be off, but let's call it eight. One hundred fourteen thousand nine hundred forty-eight. Government's giving you one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. It's one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Y'all don't gotta pay, right? One hundred fifteen thousand dollars of free money from the government, and it is tax abated. It is sweet. It is in the good area, right? Everything sounds cool. Do you want to buy it yet? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. All that sounds sweet, right? But you shouldn't want to buy it until I go over what I'm about to go over, which is how much money you're going to make, right? Because who gives a fuck about anything I just said? Who cares how cool it looks if it doesn't make money? Well, it will, right? Here's the deal. We will be able to, because of all the cool things I've been mentioning, Rent this for approximately $400 a night. Now, if we were able to get somebody to live there every day at that nightly rental rate, we would make $12,400 a month or $148,800 a year. But that's not practical, right? It's short-term rentals, right? Of course we're going to have vacancy, right? We're going to have at least 38% vacancy, right? That is an average vacancy rate uh, that you're going to see out here, okay? So after running our fixed and variable expense estimates plus that vacancy estimate, in reality, we should really be bringing home just over 5k a month, which is 61,484 the year, right? So, uh, it could project out 150k, but that's obviously never going to happen. Real world, on average, you should make almost 62k. Now, as far as how much you got to pay for this thing, like I said, it's going to be a bit more. This thing's going to be hot, man. 515. You don't have to do any repairs. The thing looks sweet, but we are going to need to furnish it, right? So 25Gs, right? A lot of the the, the furniture you saw in there. Not going to be there, right, as uh, existing furniture, a little bit of virtual staging action, okay? So 540s, you're all in. But you don't got to pay that. That's why real estate's so great, folks. You get people to give you money, right? We're getting the government to give you 115 k and guess what? We're going to get the bank to give you almost 400 k The only person who's not putting in that much money into the deal is you, the investor. That's why I love this stuff, right? You put in 153 k bank kicks in 386. Don't forget the government kicked in 115. The whole shebang is going to project out to a 27.3% cash on cash return or an 11.4 cap. And guess what, folks? If there's any areas of the Cleveland market they're going to see the most appreciation, it's the gentrified ones where people are still building new construction, right? So you know what I would do? I would hold this sucker 
till 2029. And then I would cash the F out as soon as my free taxes are gone and make a premium amount of money, right? One more thing before we get into this too, just so you know, there's an HOA, which I did account for in the chart, uh, and they say there are no restrictions. However, a lot of times when these listing agents, uh, they put on the, the properties on the MLS and stuff, they don't typically... Uh, read through the entire bylaws of their HOA, okay? Uh, and it takes some time to get them a lot of times because you got to understand, folks, uh, yeah, here at Holton Wise TV, all we do is investment real estate. But most people, they're thinking the only person that's going to buy this is going to be the person that's going to live there, right? So every once in a while, you get HOAs uh, that will restrict leasing your property. Now, they have said there are no restrictions on the MLS listing, but we're going to make our offer contingent on my review, your review, of the full bylaws it's going to take some time to get them from the agent typically they have to track them down from the buyer and it, it takes a little time so uh, they're not available right now but they're telling us it's good for rental there shouldn't be an issue but in real estate it is trust but verify because everything i just said is going to be poo pooed on if the hoa won't actually let us lease it out but again they have said up front no, no restrictions. Typically, leasing is like the biggest restriction, so it's usually listed on the MLS. But I just wanted to make you aware uh, that I am aware that we need to go through that. They're telling us it's cool, but don't start doing cartwheels just yet, right? Trust but verify. In addition, we're also going to verify by doing an appraisal and also a third-party home inspection, right? That's what this is all about. This video, it's the first step of the due diligence process, but we are not at the finish line just yet. So if you're ever investing, these are the things we need to do. We need to do the proper due diligence before we drop half a milli into an investment like this. But if everything pans out how I think it will, and I don't see a reason why it shouldn't, this is going to be one gnarly friggin' deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.